Hi everybody, Jonas Sensum here. Today we're heading in here to the North Carolina Zoo to check out what the vet's doing. The vet is a crucial part of a zoo, so let's call this a day in the life of a vet. Hi, how are you? Good. Let's just do the single injection first and then we will move into the other one. I always get the question, what's a normal day like for you? and then I always respond, there is no normal day. It, the only normal part or consistent part of my day is I start at eight o'clock um, and we round with my staff and then it can go in a multitude of different directions. So this morning what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at a Florida box turtle that's leaving us to go to the South Carolina Aquarium. Uh, so what we're going to be doing today is just kind of getting a, a good overview of how healthy is this animal. So this particular turtle came up with these shell lesions you can see that little pit right there, and then right here as well. Um, again, she does bite, so we will have, uh, the, have the trained professional holder. <laughs> I don't want to send an unhealthy turtle to a counterpart at another uh, facility, so I don't want to send a sick animal there. So I'm going to make sure that that turtle is healthy before we ship him out today. So we're going to have you guys run away because I'm going to run because he's going to come out as soon as we take, try to take a leave. Clear. Clear. Yeah, that was a good, good setting as well. Oftentimes we do the bigger procedures in the morning. Uh, yesterday morning, we went down and we did a, an exam on a, on a black bear, which required anesthesia. The day before, we had a fringeared oryx that we had to get off the habitat. Our largest habitat in the park is 40 acres. Um, these animals do not want to come inside, so we had to go out there. I had to dart him, get him under anesthesia, and get him off habitat. And then the afternoons are smaller rechecks. We're driving around the park, we're doing rechecks on things that we may have seen a couple days prior to that. So the take home message, if you were coming to the North Carolina Zoo, what I would want you to take home is multiple things. First, I would want you to look at how well we're taking care of the animals, how well the keepers are caring for the animals, so how good the welfare is here. I mean, we are treating these animals with the ut utmost respect. We are giving them the best health care that we can provide um, so that you, as a guest, will be able to look at these animals as ambassadors because that's what they are. They are the animals that are out there in the wild that are, some of them are going through through the sixth extinction crisis. I mean, things are happening around the world where animals are dying off or going extinct. So these are the animals that are acting in, as ambassadors for you guys, um, so that you can bring your kids. We're looking for the next generation to be super excited about what it is that we do, so they will go out and do the same thing that we're trying to do, which is save these animals from extinction. The other thing, we want you to have a good time. This is a beautiful park, so come out and enjoy yourself. We are trying to teach you about education around the park, the conservation that we are doing because We've got boots on the ground. We've got people out in the field doing hardcore conservation work where we are saving animals. I personally work in West Africa where we are working with the uh, Ivorian government to protect forest elephants. So again, you may see me around the park taking care, of the, taking care of the animals that we have at the North Carolina Zoo, but I'm also working overseas to make sure that we can, you, your, you and your kids and your grandkids can um, will have forest elephants for the, rest of your, for the rest of your lives and hopefully even further into the future. In a way, it would be a little bit wrong to call this video a day in the life of vet because every day seems to be different. There's new things to learn, new things to do every day. But the vet's work is crucial for the zoo and the animals that they keep. So I hope you learned something from this video and if you liked it, check out some of the other videos that we have from the zoo here. Stay tuned for more videos and see you soon.